welcome to science club today we are going to discuss the topic cell what is cell cell is the smallest basic unit of life that is responsible for all of its life processes for all of its life processes cell can replicate itself independently so it is known as building blocks of life before going to discuss about the cell and cell structure we have to know when the cell has been evolved the cell has been evolved 3.5 billion years ago 3.5 billion years ago and what was the first organism the first organism was chemoheterotrophs the first organism was chemoheterotrophs and what are the components of the cell the components of the cell are carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen which makes the organism's weight up to 96.5% which makes the organism weight up to 96.5% and what are the smallest known cells the smallest known cells are mycoplasmas mycoplasmas are the smallest known cells okay who discovered the cell the cell was first discovered by robert hooke the cell was first discovered by robert hooke in 1965 in 1965 okay what is cell biology the study of cells from its basic structure to function of every cell organelle is nothing but a cell biology cell biology and what are tissues the group of cells group of cells form tissues here we are going to discuss group of cells forms tissues and tissues group of tissues form organs and the group of organs will form organ system and group of organ system will form an organism that means all of organisms are made up of cells they may be single cell means unicellular or many cells made up of many cells multicellular organisms are made up of cells which can be made up of single cell nothing but unicellular or made up of many cells nothing but multicellular and we have to know some terms about what is protoplasm and what is cytoplasm and what is cytosol what is protoplasm i can say simply a cell without cell wall which means it contains cytoplasm all organelles and all and nucleus means a cell i can write cell minus cell wall protoplasm can be cell minus cell wall okay then what is cytoplasm it is a fluid like structure it is a fluid similarly i can say a cell without nucleus cell without nucleus means cell minus nucleus which contains all organelles like rough endoplasmic reticulum mitochondria golgi compound bodies vacuoles and lipogons rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum chloroplast everything all organisms it contain is nothing but a cytoplasm then what is cytosol cytosol it is a liquid cytosol is a cytoplasm without organelles means i can say that cytoplasm minus organelles is nothing but a cytosol next we are going to discuss about based on the structure based on the structure 
द सेल कैन बी टू टाइप्स बेस्ड ऑन स्ट्रक्चर सेल कैन बी टू टाइप्स वन इज प्रोक्योटिक सेल यूक्योटिक सेल वॉट इज प्रोक्योटिक प्रो मीन्स बिफोर कैरियो मीन्स न्यूक्लियस यू कैरियोटिक यू मीन्स ट्रू कैरियो मीन्स न्यूक्लियस मीन्स प्रोक्योटिक मीन्स बिफोर न्यूक्लियस मीन्स न्यूक्लियस इज ऑब्सेंट ओनली न्यूक्लोइड इज प्रेजेंट एंड यू कैरियोटिक मीन्स इट्स ए ट्रू न्यूक्लियस प्रोक्योटिक वी कैन टेक द एग्जाम्पल एज बैक्टीरिया and eukaryotic you can take as fungi protoplast pro protozoa next animals plants higher organisms okay prokaryotes are primitive and eukaryotes are advanced one next we are going to discuss about the structure of the plant cell the structure of plant cell plant cell and animal cell there is a small difference plant cell contains cell wall and animal cell without cell wall it is absence of cell wall means in plant cell there is a cell wall which helps in protection protect and rigid structure gives rigid structure to the cell and there is cell membrane which helps as permeability selectively permeable membrane we can say and another one is nucleus which is contains a genetic material like rna dna everything in nucleus it contains genetic material and mitochondria which is used for respiration purpose and chloroplast which is used for photosynthesis purpose food preparation photosynthesis and ribosome is there which is used for protein synthesis which is used for protein synthesis and cytoplasm which contains all organelles cytoplasm which contains all organelles means house for organelles house of organelles are nothing but cytoplasm we can say and there is two types of endoplasmic reticulum one is rough endoplasmic reticulum another one is smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes and smooth endoplasmic reticulum can which have without any ribosomes means rough endoplasmic reticulum helps in protein synthesis and smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in synthesis of lipids synthesis of lipids and we can have vacuole which is used for storage and golgi bodies which is used for transportation and lysosomes lysosome contain digestive enzymes which degrade defect intracellular organelles and also helps in the process of endocytosis and phagocytosis thank you please like share and subscribe to my channel